What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side. Because I have a mod list for you today. Some mods are getting a little bit of stack, a little bit of gameplay. And I'm kind of excited to show you. I'm also excited to see them in your own game. And I hope you enjoy them. We're going to go ahead and just jump right in. Because I know you're excited to see the mods. And the first one I want to show you. I will actually have to leave the game. And let's just go to manage worlds. We don't need to save anything. Because to be honest, what I did in the save file for this video. I don't need to save save anything okay so i have some new map overrides all right so i'm checking out the map overrides from the 20th century plum bob haven't heard of them they're over there making map overrides and they are free to download not all maps are currently available there are a few you know they're going world by world i have oasis springs they look amazing there is a saturated and less saturated version i believe magnolia promenade yes magnolia promenade which just came out and i was like oh my god look how beautiful this is actually this is how it looks without reach shade all right i just turned off my reshade for you look how beautiful this looks so if you guys are wondering about you know lots and things like that goes around it so your lots will still be fine let's go to san my i don't know why i believe san my should always be looked at from the night it just looks amazing like look at this right here like, that's so beautiful i think this is my favorite thing out of all the maps right now is this little strip of like colors you know looking like it's a very busy boardwalk which we all know it's not there's nothing there it's, it's you know but still uh, it looks amazing Brilliant, uh, yes brilliant bay does have one look how pretty this is 20th century plum bob does amazing just look how vibrant that is to be honest i don't even know if this is here on the original map up here let me know in the comments below if it is i completely forgot it and creator just made me realize that it's there a little sunshine in the upper right hand corner Ooh, glimmer brook oh god look at that it, it just looks like I, it just looks like an early morning no it just looks so good like look at this this is without reshade here the glow of light right here the attention to the shadow detail like the ones i have in my game they're free to download currently you can go get them right now henford on bagley jesus wow i didn't realize how green henford on bagley was until this map and it makes you wonder like there's so much space like we really we, we really could have gotten you know a little bit more lots but you know that's between me and you right now okay <laughs> go ahead and check these out all right we're back with my sim self yes it's my sim self you didn't realize we're back with her and the next model to show you is the dual wedding system from twisted mexi so it allows you to enjoy the base game wedding system and also the new system well the, the up, i want to say updated but the uh, the system comes from my wedding stories if you didn't know my wedding stories came out recently and you know, it was kind of buggy a lot of people have been asking for the base game wedding system which actually it gets overridden when you get my wedding stories but twisted mexi was like i got you fam they allow you to have both in your game and all you have to do is really is just go back to plan a social event wedding and it says gold event there it is then you just do this and you know base game wedding system there you go bride and groom guest care mixologist doing all the other pomp and circumstances of course if you want to do the updated version they go my plan wedding event and i think there's also a interaction that goes to the new wedding system as well so let's see yep here we go so yeah and then you go here you have all the other stuff like symbol of honor officiant and activities your actual style of the wedding you don't really want to wait for the update you can go ahead and get this and keep your you know still do your weddings the, the way you want to or you know just a little bit of bathroom stall you know i'm going to run that joke into the ground till you can no longer run that joke into the drown the drown ground let's move on all right so the next mod i want to show you comes from kira sims for mods and it is their computer side gigs now you know i like a little side gig here and there especially when it comes with money and my sims do too at least i i hope they do but anyway so this mod allows you to have side gigs all you gotta do is get the computer make sure you have xml injector it is base game compatible and it is you know you can download it now it's free to download here we go career and then you will see the new side gigs high menu then you just click on it and you have narrate an audiobook review plopsy item take product survey simlish take a web oh take take a website i'm about to steal a website has a website and write pay review for simazon which is a holler simoleons you know good luck with that make sure you get your money up front do all this you know make a little side change if you want to now i'm going to do the most expensive thing which is narrate an audiobook i feel like you would need to like try out for that in a sense um actually does anybody narrate for audiobooks i know people that narrate for audiobooks why are you just looking with and do they you know that was a quick sidebar and do they make a lot of money from that now it doesn't give me a time before it's completed so i guess we'll just know when she gets there <laughs> but i do hope they give me my money soon hey 
day, three hundred simoleons. So that's like about two sim hours, I think, and give or take two sim hours. I don't know how she narrated an audiobook without actually using her voice, but she just finessed the system. I she probably cheated. It don't matter. So let's go back to career, and then let's go to side gigs, and then let's try. Let's review a plopsy item that's like twenty simoleons, and let's see how long that will take. It shouldn't take anything. Like I can just write a sentence and click send, and be like, "Give me my twenty simoleons." Yeah, it's basically. Yeah, you can give your sims to go and get the little side gig on. Let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, we're back with my sim self, and luckily she, you know, has to do something she probably doesn't want to do, which is talk to her roommate Mo. Don't follow me on Twitch, and you, you know, not familiar with Mo and my sim self is a relationship. Then you know what? It's okay. You know, it's it's cool. All right, so the next mod is also from Kiara Sims for mods, and it's the social interactions pack. Base game compatible. You just need XML injector. And another quick thing to know is there is a lot of interactions here. I actually covered a few of these back when they were just standalone and luckily they are a merged file you can go ahead and put in your game now but before oh child was a lot so here we go let's see if i can find some of them so here's one it's called chat about politics and, and then oh here we go another one called good mornings also ones for good night here's another one called i love you I don't know how mo's gonna react to me telling i love you but you know when it be like that sometimes especially since you know the hatred is there but you know it's all right let's yeah definitely mo was not with it mo was not oh mo <laughs> It's me with this face saying, I love you. I'm like, I love And Moe is just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Moe's looking like, did this bitch hit her head or something? I can't, even, I can't even say that shit with a straight face. Hold up. Oh my God. <laughs> I need I hate you. Uh, is I hate you here? Maybe it's under mean. Or, or, or I can get accused of being a gold digger. I know nothing about Mo's life because I don't really give a shit. I hate you. Okay. He said, I am not a gold digger. How dare you accuse me of being one? Well, I mean, now I know. You just, all you had to say was no. Like a simple no would have sufficed. Not gold. Wow. From accusing someone of being a gold Gold digger. I can spot these gold diggers a model way. It's the fact that we actually have buffs for these. That that did it for me. Let me see. Can I have some money? Not okay, but how do you say you hate me, but you just gave me some money? Ooh, okay. I didn't do that. He gave me 400 simoleons, which to be honest, is more money than Mo gives me a month for rent. Mo gives me like a measly 240-ish dollars towards rent and rents over like 1k. And it's just us two. Which you know what? To be honest, right now it tells me that Mo has the money and Mo doesn't want to give me the money. Feeling some type of way. How are you? I don't really care, but you know, for the sake of this video, I'll ask Mo, how are they? How am I doing response? I had an argument with someone close to me, but what can I do? Is this play about us? <laughs> euphoria reference i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so oh it is about me oh it is about us okay anyway <laughs> oh wow well. but yeah that is a the social interactions pack act one so make sure you go and check it out of course again you can download them individually depending on what you want but there is a package file that you can download so yeah make sure you go and uh you check them out all right the next one i want to show you feels kind of illegal especially since i just read what you can do with it and it is the lot 51 flick buster a dvd player and video rental mod but what this mod does is basically you can have blockbuster in the sims 4 but not blockbuster because you know um that's probably still copyrighted it's called flickbuster and you know nobody wants to get sued but you do need movie hangout stuff to use this mod but other than that it's base game compatible it's also compatible with their other mod sims link if you don't know about that mod i just linked in the icard for you go check it out it's an amazing mod you know my sim about to go rent some dvds okay so once you get the mod in your game go ahead and get you the dvd player it is the experience the magic of stereo sound in hundreds of colors with the cat of you dvd player you'll never buy a movie ticket again remember when vhs's were the thing you know everything came on vhs back when i was a kid and vhs's were the thing you know the little rugrats in orange mm -hmm. and then we got dvd and then we got blu-ray and then it was stream no, well now it's currently in streaming but now we're going back to vinyl ours are giving out cassette tapes you know which is regressing but anyway i actually went ahead and put down the video rental box on a line which you can do just like 2000 simoleons and i did in the buy mode so was free let's go here magnolia promenade we're gonna go to our you know our shell doesn't, doesn't she look cute we have the shell gas station by and get some dvds all right so 
<laughs> so you just put this down the uh video renting box is like 2000 simoleons and you actually do need to get a membership card where you can start renting stuff which to be honest we about to finesse the system anyway current movies like anything that's in movie hangout stuff so let's do flick buster membership card 34 35 simoleons welcome to the flick buster club a membership card has been placed in your inventory you can now rent movies from flick buster using your phone or computer don't forget to purchase a dvd player don't worry i did don't worry oh it's actually right there that's cute Hit movie from flick buster show off flick buster card not wait show off D not me who the fuck okay <laughs> i'm like who the hell cares but and then let's rent movie let's rent a movie from Flickbuster and let's, let's see what they got not y'all over here working at the gas station all right oh okay so because i have override for all my movies this is what everything looks like so i can you know get tokyo ghoul i can get sailor moon but i'm gonna go ahead and get that bleach okay look at me my little dvd all right let's go home wait can i get another one? Oh, i can actually return the movie too i think i can get another one no beacon rewind that's, wait no that's vhs anyway like a little kid in a toy store ready to watch this movie all right you can rent three movies at a time and actually you can like is, is this the disc bleach and you can actually stack dvds right there ain't that cute oh okay that's how you play it i was like how you do this did i figure it out oh did it turn on it did okay cool can i stop it i can stop playing and then i can move the disc oh okay and it actually says no disc inserted Drag a dvd onto the dvd player to insert the disc that's cool man not the shit don't want to work okay it's there it's just glitching leave it alone you can also burn dvds make some bootlegs real quick and go sum up the shell let me see oh, here we go burn bootleg dvd let me go do that real quick burn that tokyo ghoul real quick yeah you can sell them at a retail store or a craft table not me actually over here Ooh. i wonder if it takes this as long as it did before no notification that i burned the dvd all right what is this like buster video rental dvd tokyo ghoul quality outstanding of course and burned this hey i got that 1920 by 7 no not 1920 by 1080p you can go download this model right now it's free to download and let's move on to the next mod it's like 12 p.m my sim is going to sleep but the next mod i want to show you is again from that sim just okay anyway y'all saw that right y'all saw the sim just throw it back in okay the next mod i want to talk to you about is from kr sims for mods but it is their tax well file tax return mod and i already got the buff it says tax day from tax day tomorrow tomorrow is tax day i don't know if i should be happy or not and this mod allows your sims to actually file their taxes in the game which you know something we do in real life and you know your sims can do it now and it's one of the things i hate adulthood brings is filing taxes and yeah so my sins will, once you get that, you can go ahead and like a little tax return day on there. And as you see, I have tax day from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. File tax return. It's almost that time for my sims to file her taxes. I actually got her up early because she has to go to work in three hours at 8 a.m. And you know, so here we go. Tax day. And then you go to household tab. Then here we go. File tax returns. File your tax return before the sim RS come looking for you. I love that for me. I don't, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh wait, where is she going? Oh no, she's actually going there. It's costing 200 simoleons. Um, we're gonna have to do, uh, we're gonna have to do that because she's not gonna make it home in time. Well, she may. Tax returns accepted. Your tax return was approved by the Sim RS. You have received your funds and a fee of 200 simoleons was taken out. Oh, I didn't even see how much it gave me, but damn, okay. It looks like they were accepted too because I it said I didn't lose anything. So if your tax returns are accepted, you get 1,500 to 2,500 simoleons. If your tax returns are rejected they take 750 between 1500 simoleons and i hate that here and tax return money from filing a tax return who likes taxes i guess it's not so bad when extra money comes from it and that's all what period then we have it's time in the year to file taxes let's hope my tax return is approved and not rejected you also complain about taxes but there's no one here to complain about taxes with but you know what I do that every chance i can get anyway so you know i did it for my sim let's move on to the next mod all right the last mod i want to talk to you about slash show you is the custom food recipes files collection from oni if you don't know who oni is they make a lot of custom food the sims for i've actually covered a few of their recipes before but they came out with a all-in-one their recipes because you know their catalog is getting pretty big and downloading each individual one they know the struggle they know the pain so they did this all i have to do is just download the all-in-one file but you also need to go ahead and make sure that you have their recipe pack custom food mod everything in one which is this paper bag 
bag or you know you can like switch to how it looks and then you go to cook then you will have all the foods there but let me make sure my sim uh is at least level 10 so we can see all the recipes da -da 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 -da. you cook let's do instant foods we have their rice curry their jajang let's do some actual meal topoki let's make topoki i'm gonna make a party size of topoki i'm gonna eat that for my actual sim okay seems really good right now i actually want some i gotta go to the korean farmer's market i really gotta go now we got a lot of stuff okay so yeah make sure you check out all in one file there's a lot of recipes that oni has made there you go topoki and yeah that's about it let me know in the comments what you think of these mods and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i have some fun videos planned for the channel in the coming weeks i hope you enjoy them below what are your favorite mods so far? And I will see you next time. Bye, boo.